Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to day 13 of 30 days of nine. So today we're going to be getting into working with date variables. For our data sets, we actually have a date that does not look like a date. So we need to convert this to a date and then extract some information from this date. To give you some context, what I'm trying to explore here is the different variables which go with a flight being canceled. So that is the data science part of this. Although this series is going to focus more on the nodes, I'm going to do a final write-up article to answer that question. So stay tuned for that. So now let's address this date. First, we need to transform this date into a variable that looks like a date because right now it's a string. It does not have anything that makes it look like a date. And because of that, we can't use many of the wonderful nodes focused on working with dates in nine. So to transform this to a date, we need to search for the string to date node, string to date and time node, bring it over and connect it. So now let's open this and see what we have. So we would like to transform this flight date from a string to a date variable. So let's send everything over there and just bring back this one we want to work with. We can decide to append the transformed values as a new column and we can give that a name if we check on that or we can replace the current column with the transformed values. So down here, you can specify if you want your new type to be of type date or time and date or date and time with a time zone, whatever you want. For me, I want it to be a date because we don't have any time information. Here you can specify the date formats. You can click down to select the drop down now please recognize that for this you need to tell it what the format is of your current date slash time string so this is not where you tell it what it wants what you want it to look like you need to tell it what it looks like right now so that it can go ahead and parse it from what it looks like to what it should look like which you specify over here okay so in my case i have year month and day and you can actually edit this down to only have this three, this three parts minus the dashes. But you can actually tell Nime to guess and tell you what it thinks. And as you can see, Nime has correctly identified that I have year, 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 like here, and then month, 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 and day, day. So it should work. But if it doesn't work, you can tell it to fill in on execution so that you can go ahead and address the error. So click on OK and it is transformed. And now see, it looks like a date. It has the year separated with a hyphen and then you have the month hyphen and then you have your, your day. Okay, now look how it was before. Before it did not have those separations, but now it does. And also if you go here and you view your data, you can see that right now this flight date is a string. But after we have run this transformation, if we go back, you can see that the flight date is now a calendar representing a date variable type. So now that that's worked, let me show you another node really quickly. This node extract date and time fields allows you to extract some information from your date and time. For instance, let's say we want to know what day of the week this day was or what month was. If you want to have all this separately, we can do that in here. So I'll think that the weekday or if it's a weekend versus weekday, these things might affect the flight cancellation. So we can extract all those. We can even extract the year. We can extract the month month name we can extract the week we can extract the day of the month and the day of the week name we can even extract the day of the week number we can extract a lot so for now i'm just going to extract all of these and if i don't want anything i could always go back and uncheck it and rerun my workflow because nime is very very flexible and things like that so once we click on ok and we run this we can see we have several new columns have been created we can see that this first flight date was actually was actually on a Sunday. It was the fourth week of the year and it was the 20th day of the month. And the year has also been extracted separately. That's a very powerful one because from here, I can actually use the rule engine node to specify it if it was a weekday or weekend. And that's something I'm actually going to do tomorrow in day 14. This is the end for today, guys. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.